uh, we played Dead Storm Pirates when he was visiting from uh, Florida. And tonight we're going to play Earth Defense 4 4.1, The Shadow of New Despair. <laughs> in Co-op mode. Yeah. That's such a ridiculous title. It's amazing. Is what it yeah, is. I, I, I'm, I'm really excited to see this, really, because... Uh, audio is bad again. Okay, let me, let me just let me stop it. Right oh, it so why does it do that? I don't know. if it sounds okay now. And turn the volume up? I can turn that up. On the game, or the game audio is not. Hey, we're trying to fix the audio. <laughs> it's even worse now? What? Even worse. Okay, yeah. That, that just seems to happen on the K-Choppy for no reason. Right. Mic audio is bad on all accounts, huh? Well, that's that's probably uh, it's probably a factor of, of just it, it's it's choppy. Is that the thing? It's choppy, or the audio quality is bad? Yeah. Apparently, I sound all right. But it's just me that sounds bad, or it's us. I mean, you sound good on Skype. Yeah. Let's see if we can let's see if we can pull this a little closer. How does this sound when I get real close like that? Bolt choppy. Choppy. And, and, well, it's way too loud because I was. What the heck? All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna back out of OBS and do. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it should be okay. No, he meant the volume is adequate for me. I see. Okay. Okay. Is it is it better now? I I, may, I had to re. Okay, it's mm-hmm. perfect now. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, are we still too loud, or can we push this table back a teeny little bit? Yeah, it's, it's really it's like it's all up on us. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Is this better now? Is this better now? Is this better now? All right. Yeah, I, it just maybe it has something to do with the fact that I like play music before now. I don't know, but it seems like uh, OBS just screws up really bad for you. Yeah. Like, when you start the stream. It could be. Kind of weird, but all right. So here so- we are. So this is my brother, Adam. I mean, I already introduced him. How's it going? You're like, remember, the camera, camera's up there. Mm. I, don't know if he's, I think he was looking at the laptop. No, I was looking up there. Doing- I was looking up there. I was, I was just seeing what people were saying. Oh. Uh, he's visiting from Florida. And he uh, he was here last year. We played Dead Storm Pirates and had a good time. And it's I'm time back. for it's yeah, he's back. He, he's leaving the market. Once a year, once a year, yeah, come back. <laughs> and uh, we've been having, having a good time. Well, the video's gonna be out of sync. It's just like the way it, the, the way it goes. Um, yeah. Sometimes it is, but I think it has to do with people's computers sometimes. I mean, I you know how we get people saying. Uh, Oh, the, our entire video is out of sync sometimes. Right? Yeah, like, you know, I think which is not that. true. Yeah, we'd catch that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited to see some Earth Defense Force because this is a series that I really haven't looked into that much, but I've always been very curious about because it just looks like sort of some dumb fun. Yeah, yeah. So I, it, it's definitely, it's pretty stupid. But it's, <laughs> it, it has a reputation for a reason, like a good reputation for... Of being so stupid that it's fun. Yeah. Um, I played it for about 30 minutes previously, like a couple of levels, but we're just going to start from the beginning anyways. Yeah, I've never played it, so. Oh, apparently, uh, My voice is too uh, low your voice is too low. Can you turn it up in any way? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if this helps. Maybe if I turn up the game a little bit, this might help. Is this, hopefully this sounds a little bit better, but we might be too loud now. But yeah, didn't, uh, didn't this series start off like as a budget PS2 game? It may have. I mean, I'm mainly familiar with the, uh, with the 360 version. 
Okay. Which I have, but I've heard it's like it's very very buggy. I got it one day and I think I played one level and the whole and it hard locked up my system. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played it since. <laughs> and then this one came yeah. out and I got it. I think I got it for like like twenty dollars. Mm. Yeah, but I think it started off as a PS2 budget game. I think it was like I think. Th- there, there was, like, several series of, like, budget PS1 and PS2 games. And on occasion, there was kind of, like, breakout titles among those that kind of, like, went on to, you know, become franchises. Yeah. Like, I think, was that, oh, oh, I don't know how you say it, Oni Kanabara, I think, oh, started o- off o- like Shambara. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this, uh, I believe, is has a similar origin, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, by the way, I don't know if uh, if you had intended to put the s- screen full yet, oh, uh, but I, I don't I don't see it. I will go ahead and do that right now. Oh, whoa! It's not what I want. Okay, oh, it's this one. <laughs> uh, we're playing it on PS4. No frame meister involved this time. This direct, <laughs> direct to the uh, to the capture card. All right. Well, I'm 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 excited to see uh, see this in action. So we're gonna play we're gonna play split screen, which you know is the whole reason we're playing. Yeah. yeah. Pl- player two, press the active button. I figured we plan my main save because then I can resume everything later on. So. Here we go. I'm going to change my class. There's several classes. There's the Ranger, the Wing Diver, which I guess can fly. The Air Raider. Um, I don't know. Can you change classes in between levels? And the Fencer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try the Wing Diver this time. Do you have any customization, or is it just they are what they are? Like, in terms of, like, look and abilities and stuff? You can adjust the armor, you can change the color, and you can equip two different weapons. So, I don't have any weapons unlocked for this class. Oh, I have the, uh, the Rapier, uh, the, uh, the Ixion, and the L Plasma Launcher. Oh, E1 Plasma Launcher. It's the, it's the L Plasma Launcher. L Plasma. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna change my color. I gotta, gotta choose that green. Yeah. You gotta have okay. The, now you, do you wanna, you can do what you wanna do. I'm just gonna. You just wanna, you gonna be the, the ranger. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. Make it easy. The defaults. Yep. All right. You wanna back out? Hit circle and back out. Select a mission. Select a difficulty. At height deploying. Here we go. Mm-hmm. So basically, the the gist of this whole series is alien bugs attacking, and you're just blowing them up. Pretty much. There's it not. Have, there's, is there much nuance to it beyond that? And there might be later on. But it's it's definitely like a B movie. Yeah, and so like like the animation and graphics are like very low quality, like kind of intentionally though. Right. So you can uh, you can also destroy buildings if you shoot them enough. The entire buildings will blow up. Wow! And, and fall apart. Like like in an advanced way, or they just kind of fall yes, apart. Sir. Like can you do like piecemeal destruction on them. Oh, hang on, I just I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, you've got jetpack. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think you have any. <laughs> <laughs> Just came pushed by a tank. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> the voice acting is pretty great too. Like, you can really get messed up by these things too. Does it run at uh, 60 frames? Uh, it normally does. I think this it has a lot of slowdown. It's this seems a lot slower. For sure. This, no, uh, no. so the, uh, the 
this the the kind of char character that I'm playing as really reminds me of a gun, gun Valkyrie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's a rapier though. Is it like a machine gun or is it just a? I can't tell if it's maybe it's like a close range thing. You're, oh yeah. You're on you're on foot movements fairly slow, or at least yeah, your character is definitely. Definitely. I feel like I need a better weapon in this thing. So apparently the uh, they had destroyed all these these giant insects like years ago, and then they just uh -huh. re they've reappeared. Oh no! Oh, se seven years ago. Is that in part one, two, or three? I don't know. I don't even know what, what this number is. Oh, it's four. Wait, one, two, it's four point yeah. one. Yeah. But there's like, I, I think there's like a lot of like sub games that may not have numbers. Yeah. I mean, there's one on the Vita that was like two. See, you see how I destroyed the uh, the bridge. Yeah. I'm not trying to make any sense of this. <laughs> I mean... You can't. That's, that's, that's the whole, that's whole point. point, yeah. But it's, like, impressive that they, like, climb on buildings and stuff. Yeah. It's just not all on the ground. <laughs> I don't know how high I can go. Is, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, why don't, you, why don't you try? I mean, like, flying in games is always, like... Like, always just like the idea of, like, unlimited flight. You know? Yeah. You can fly anywhere, anytime, go anywhere. So what was your objective this this mission? Just... See, this is when the insects first appeared. Mm -hmm. So now you just have to, like, protect the city. Is there, uh, is there, uh... Oh, look, I can, I can get up to the top of buildings. <laughs> is there a penalty for, uh, for hurting too many civilians or blowing up too many buildings? I don't think so. Where were these guys hiding all that time? So, the extermination was a lie. The voice acting is very much like Time Crisis. Mmm. Uh, I, I can't remember if we mentioned it on stream before. I think we did, but when we were at Missouri Game Con, we got to play Time Crisis 5. Yeah. On an arcade machine, which was... It was incredible. It was everything and more than I could have hoped for. <laughs> you know, the the unique thing about it is that it's got, like, a dual foot pedal system. And it's actually really cool the way it it's, works. It's easy to get a little kind of confused by it sometimes but it is it's, it's really cool how it works. well, well it, when they were doing the tutorial i was a little confused but like once i got into it, i'm like oh this like makes total sense like basically you're just like shifting cover from like various points throughout the level. yeah like from point a and point b you know each scene you can move to one of two pieces of cover and it's actually really cool for like let's say guys that have like a shield like, you can, like, go to the other cover, and they're still pointing the other way, and then, you know, you can shoot around their shield. So it's actually pretty cool. Uh, someone in the chat is saying that this uh, reminds me of Dynasty Warriors. Uh, oh, dump yeah. on a huge bike. I, I can definitely see the... Like the Musou. The like yeah, the yeah. Musou, I think, is probably a little more polished, but... Yeah. Or a lot more polished, maybe, uh, but... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, I think, the same sort of thing where it just, you know, tries to just be, you know, completely chaotic and not take itself seriously at all. Right. I can go. Have you played through any Musso games? Uh, just Hyrule Warriors. Okay, so you did finish Hyrule Warriors. Yeah. Now that, I played through that and Dynasty Warriors 8. I played the <laughs> PS4 version of that. But you gotta get out. You gotta, like, shoot them. You know, spit you out. You can't just like let him go with you. You still got full, you got full health almost. Um, so a lot of people say, saying that uh, that, that uh, Mark from Classic Game Room really loves this game. This and like, this and Truck Center like is the big ones. <laughs> this particular version of Earth Defense Force, just or like, just like EDF in general. 
I don't like this game, this, uh, this gun so much. We did it! We did it! Yeah. All right. Th this would this would probably be like a super popular rental, like back in the rental days. Yes. That it, it's like always out. Yeah. Yeah. Like th this is like. You know, like, there, there were certain games back in the day where it was like, this is a good rental, but it's like, <laughs> not something you want to you wanna buy, but, like, almost in a way that makes a better rental than something you want to buy, because you don't want to, like, you know, spoil you a game yeah. that you want to buy, you know? You want to change your, your... Yes. Okay. You should try... You should, you should try the Fencer, I think. Because it looks like you're just going to have this huge machine gun. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's like constantly, uh, you know, it's always rented, and you like people would 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 rent it and then hold on to it for so long that they'd end up like spending so much on the rental that they could have just bought the game. Yeah, I uh, I actually stopped recently in a, a a rental store in town that I've just never been to, but it's still around. It's a family video. I think it's a chain sort of. Yeah, yeah, family video is like the main rental chain i think these days that still exists yeah i was surprised it was actually like you know a really nice looking store um uh and they had a pretty big game section i mean they had uh they had ps4 xbox one wii they didn't have switch but they had uh wii <laughs> ds 3ds they even had 360 and ps3 still so, and you know not not a terrible selection um I mean, we've, we've talked about Movie World on here before, right? Or was that on stream? Was that the one that has, like, a secret a secret door to, like, a bar no, or something? No, no, that's the one that's just, like, here in Cincinnati. But, like, I, I maybe I, I said to you that I think that every single, like, city has, like, back in the day, had a movie rental place called Movie World. I know that we had two of them. <laughs> yeah, really. uh, and, and, At and different you times. And you suspect they are not a chain. It's just that... People around the country have named rental stores Movie World. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I can't think of a Movie World for sure off the top of my head, but um, uh, my uh, my my local store when I lived in Delaware was called Video Shape Place. Um, which, uh, that's, that was definitely my main one. I went I went to Blockbuster to rent. Uh, Tetris Attack. That was like the one thing I ever ran at Blockbuster because Video Ship Place never got it. It was also another place that uh, I forgot. Watch me blow I up just... that building. I just like blew up that building on purpose. So, <laughs> so just wait for it. Okay. I'm, I'm, oh wow! Look at it go. Look at it go. <laughs> hey, but I mean, uh, what, what other movie stores did you have? Adam's really good with like remembering names of things <laughs> that I cannot remember. Um, uh, well, I mean, did you ever used to rent uh, movies and games from your grocery store? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, we used to do that too. Yeah, I remember yeah. renting Howard the Duck <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> what a great movie that was. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we ran a little bit. We had there was like a little rental store in Kroger. Um. Yeah, didn't rent a lot like when I lived in like Tennessee and Ohio, just a little bit. It was like it was Delaware when when I got much more heavily into renting movies and games. But the, my game rental phase was probably only maybe maybe like four or so years because like at a certain point I was like. I was kind of regretting, like, every time I ran a game, like, I got so much done in it. I'm like, oh, but I want to own this. But now I feel like I'd be wasting my money because I, like, I beat it. Right. <laughs> or, like, almost beat it, you know? Uh, where did I live in Tennessee? I lived in a town called Columbia. It was, uh, it was so long ago. Honestly, I can't even remember which big city was near it. I feel like we were like an hour away from a big city, but I can't remember which one. Um, 
But it was there it was in central time, I remember that much. <laughs> it's just so funny that they're just like casually like Wait, you're supposed to be trained in fighting giant insects, you know. <laughs> uh the video show place um was not in Lantana Square. It was um it it was next to the Pat's Pizza in um <laughs> Which I, which I, I think might still be there. It was like next to the Pat's Pizza and like, Pokesson proper. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I, I'm sure it wouldn't still be there. I don't know if it was right next door to it. It was just in that little strip mall. I, it was. It was either one or two stores removed from it. I like this gun. It doesn't seem like it shoots with the exact direction I want it to. Mm -hmm. When I fly. You know how to change your weapons, right? Yeah. I'm even not. I'm not even watching what you're doing. Oh, it's kind of cool. You have like this kind of dash. Whoa. <laughs> I I just got you. I just watched you just get knocked. <laughs> yeah. And then the ragdoll. I, I love yeah. ragdoll in physics. It was like a very stiff ragdoll, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, you're probably penalized for destroying the buildings out there. How, uh, what's, like, what's, what happens if you go to, like, the edge of the, of the, um, of the playing field? Like, can you just go on forever, or is there, like, an invisible wall locking you in or something? I don't know. For some reason, this series has always kind of made me also think of, uh, the N64 game Body Harvest. <laughs> I never played it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very different, but like the concept is the same. Like I always thought it was a, it was a fun concept. It's actually developed by Rockstar. Um, oh hey, we just got five dollars from Munchkin Gaming. Thank you so much. Thank you. With adjust your armor. You can choose to lower the armor value and play under harsher conditions. You can restore a lowered value to its original setting. Hmm. Just make it Interesting. For Yeah, that's that super chat action. Yeah. But yeah, um, Body Harvest was made by uh, yes. the company Before. that became Rockstar North. Uh, they were called, uh, what, what was it, D DMA Design, I think? D DM something, right, I right. think it's DMA. And you can like definitely see like where it kind of laid the ground. I think it came out after the original Grand Theft Auto, but you can definitely see where it, I, I could be wrong on that. I think it came out after though, but you can definitely see how it laid the groundwork for sort of the 3D sort of stuff because you can drive a ton of different vehicles in it. Um, you can drive um, hovercraft, boats, airplanes, uh, in addition to, to uh, land vehicles. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like you're just like going around and like blowing up alien bugs who, you know, are are harvesting uh, humans, and like the the story of the game. I, I mean, it's, it's stupid, but I always thought it was kind of cool. Was you're you're like, you know, humanity has this uh, time machine, and and these bugs have been harvesting humans every year since like. Uh, the year 1901, well, not every year, not every year, but it's it's like every, I forget why, like every 20, <laughs> 20 or so years or something, they come back, like starting in like the early 1900s, and so you go like, the first level is like Greece in the early 1900s, and then it's, uh, and it's, then it's Java in like the 20s or 30s or something, and then America in the 50s, and I think Siberia, um, like the 80s or 90s and then like sometime in the 2000s you you uh go to the the space station where you came from so you like try to stop the bugs like throughout time <laughs> it's, it's very stupid but it's, it's but that's part it's, of the appeal yeah it, it absolutely is it, it's cool just because it's like different like real world areas and like the the levels are just like huge It seemed like they're pretty big on this, too. 
Yeah, but like Bobby Harvest is like, like, like very much like uh, I can't really think how to describe it, but they're like it's just kind of sprawling like it feels very open like you don't have like a ton of mobility until you get like some of the the vehicles that can that can you know go farther or fly higher um and you're kind of locked within this force field area where uh where they harvest the humans but then you can like open holes in the force field and like go to different areas but it's like it's all like within the time period it's completely seamless which is pretty cool Although, well, you can go, you go inside buildings at times, but aside from that. What, uh, do you know what city you're, you're in here? Or are, are, are I, you just I, a generic city? I don't know. It, it probably tells you, but I, I missed it. I think since I'm replaying levels, it's not like showing me like the cutscenes. So uh, after, after like starting with the next level, before I start seeing cutscenes. Oh, story. okay. This, the, 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 the quality of this in, in some ways kind of reminds me of uh, Deadly Premonition, which, you know, is, you know, part of its appeal is it's, you know, kind of rough look. Right. I guess he, he's got, have you heard about his new game that's just been announced recently? It's, who, who, what is it? Sweary? Sweary? Uh, sweary whatever. Sweary. I, I forget the number. Yeah, like 65. He's got a number. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's kind of like Suda 51, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's some new game about like this this English town where where people turn into cats at night. <laughs> <laughs> is that, oh, is that the art? It's like the cat RPG? Uh, I, I don't really know. Like, like, I watched a trailer, and I couldn't... I wasn't really sure, like, if they were showing artwork or in-game graphics or what. Oh. I don't know if I like this gun. Like, it seems like it's really laser? powerful. Is it that laser one? Yeah, it shoots oh, really yeah, slow. But it probably does more damage in the same amount of time. So you've been, uh, try you've been watching, been marathoning the Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah. Are, yeah. are you caught we, up now? Did you do it today too? Yeah, yeah. Me and uh, me and our friend Drumble, uh, he came over uh, yesterday and today, and it we, doesn't we seem like something you'd you'd be into. Well, see, I I don't know why you necessarily think that because I, I I like dumb action movies. But they but they don't don't start off exactly like a dumb much of a well, dumb. Well, yeah, action. but it's but like it's become that, right? So that was why I was like really curious, right? Yeah. Um. But it's it's pretty amazing, like how they kind of bring it back. I I always think it's like amazing, like how they bring it back to the the third one. Right, which didn't you know didn't play into it as much as I thought it would in a way, but it it did. Um. <laughs> You, you, you haven't seen the first one? I've only seen the first one. Oh. oh, oh, yeah. I mean, the first one was like a was like a good movie. Um, yeah. The second but, one not so good, but it's it's just fun how they kind of like bring everybody in. Yeah, over time. yeah, yeah. The se- I mean, like the first one was like and ev- everybody very... who is like a bad guy will eventually be a good guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like adding to the team. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the first movie was just like it was. It was definitely a very good movie. Like, it wasn't like. I I, I don't think on its own it would be re, re, be you know remembered like as like some amazing masterwork of cinema. But it was a very good movie. Mm-hmm. Um, the second one was like was like passable entertainment, but not amazing. Um. Then the third one I thought was pretty weak, but see, I like the third one. I thought it was like pretty, pretty cool. Well, see, that that's what kind of what Drum said. Drum said that like what his understanding is that um, that the three is very divisive. A lot of people think it's the worst one, and uh, some people think it's the best one. And I I didn't think it was that good. I remember um, telling my wife about it. And she, I was like, oh, it's like there's a new. Uh, there's a new Fast and Furious movie out, and they were like, it's, 
is she's like, oh, is that the one where they, they drive sideways? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you know, it, it wasn't until, like, maybe, like, a year and a half or two years ago that, like, I even caught on to the fact that, like, people like these movies. Like, I always thought they were just, like, what? One of those throwaway series that people, you know, th that did well, but not many people really, really liked. And I was like, wait a second, I'm getting the impression that people really, really like these movies. Why is this? And like, it's because they've like made it this like off the wall, like connected story. And, you know, it starts off, you know, about street racing and ends up about like, you know, stopping nuclear weapons launches. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like I, I was telling Drum today, I said like, you know, I don't know if this would be the right way to introduce someone to the series, but it would be just fine as an experiment to have someone watch the first movie and then watch like the seventh or eighth <laughs> movie. And just be left wondering what the heck happened in the middle. <laughs> I mean, I think it's hilarious. Yeah. And yeah. like, I haven't seen the I haven't seen the new one. Yeah, uh, I mean it, it was it was it was pretty good. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean the Rock is like so over the top once they introduce him in the series. Yeah, like <laughs> like literally everything he does is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like I like the plasma shotgun here. Yeah, we we definitely uh, we definitely had a lot of laughs. It was. Uh, Oh jeez, they got giant spiders now. <laughs> or are you caught in that web? Or oh, no, that's just no, another no. another of your Valkyrie style players. Yeah. What what's your player class called? It's like the sky something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Lots of spring. So Adam and I went to see uh, the three D re-release of Terminator oh, 2. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I've said it before, but it's... it's Terminator 2 is, like, easily, like, my favorite movie of all time. I've seen it at least a hundred times in my mm -hmm. life. <laughs> that is a lot. I know. It ne like, not always, like, the entire movie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. But always from, like, when they... When I was in, uh, in grade school, I'd always watch it we recorded off a of pay-per-view, and I'd always come home after school and watch it from the point that they uh, go to like attack the Cyberdyne systems. Oh yeah. And uh, I remember that was like what I was watching instead of like Ninja Turtles for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! How do I get out of this? I'm, I'm caught in the trap. How do I? Where are you? I don't know. I don't know how to get out of it, though. Find you. Get out of it, I'm trying to. It's gonna let me escape. But they gotta... I'm stuck in there, too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wing divers. That's what they're called. There we go. You're free. <laughs> Giant man. And the thing is, the thing about this game is, like, it's awesome and like scared at the same time because I like I like really hate insects in the first place. <laughs> I just like hate how they look. I definitely have like a a fear of all like bugs. Yeah, I I I I'm <laughs> I'm not I'm not cool with them myself. <laughs> which which in my mind makes it all the more fun to like blow them up in a game like this. Yeah. I mean the one the the uh, ones in uh, what should I call it in Resident Evil and the first one, the giant spiders and that's Oh, yeah. Oh, they're, yeah. They're like, you know, like kind of furry. Yeah, yeah. That, that like gets me. Yeah, I, oh, I don't like them either. <laughs> Juggling the spider there. Oh, there we go. Blow them in half. So, so, uh, so yeah, about uh, Terminator. Oh, uh, but it's, it was great. You know, like. I, I've, I, I've always heard that, generally speaking, like. Uh, movies that were shot in 2D and were retrofitted with 3D doesn't work very well. I thought it went pretty good because, I mean, it's, it was James Cameron that did it, who, like, kind of, like, pioneered it, this 
iteration of 3D movies. So I think True. he like, does like a good. So good he, job he like was probably pretty hands on, like shot by shot. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. But like, how, I mean, how do they do it? Like, how do they separate that stuff? Like, I mean, it would be like a lot of like frame by frame rotoscoping to like create background that's not there and stuff like that, wouldn't you think? Um, no, because you don't see background that's not there. Right, but like. It's, just, like it's you, just a depth of field. Right, but there has to be like, you know, like the background like has to like shift. Like to create the 3D effect, it's got to be two different angles, but there's only one angle. So you have to like separate certain elements. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I sat in the middle. I was sat in the middle. So I don't know. You'd see different things from each direction. I, mean, I think it I always mean, comes image, towards you. The image should always be the same no matter where you sit, but, I mean, to create a 3D image, like, from a 2D image, like, I I can't imagine how it would be done without, like, creating some part of the image that wasn't there originally. It, yeah, it didn't really seem like many of the parts of the movie were actually 3D. It, it just seemed like a normal 2D movie most of the time. Yeah, you kind of it, start to, like, forget about it yeah. after a while. I'm not a big fan of 3D movies in the first place. If I have a choice, I'll always see 2D. Yeah, yeah, I'm but, uh, you know, like I, I thought that the effect was pretty good. I mean, in certain standout scenes, you know, you, they, you see it more. Mm -hmm. But after a while, I felt like you just kind of become desensitized to it anyways. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it had probably, like, I've seen it so many times. It's probably been a couple of years since I've seen it. And man, like it's still like that intro sequence, you know, like with the music, still like seeing it in, in a theater you. for the first time, still like giving me chills. You know, it's, <laughs> it's uh, it's it holds up pretty uh, pretty well. Um, they fixed a couple of little things, uh, like you can. It's definitely like Arnold's face when uh, when they're in the uh, like the water ducks and he like mm -hmm. jumps off and in the original you could like tell that was uh like a stunt man it wasn't him uh, now they, they fix it up so it looks more like him interesting like did they did they uh redo any of like the uh the um the the melted metal uh effects or anything like that no i think they still hold up pretty well uh, yeah i mean they they're pretty de i'm just curious like i mean you never did, you never think looking at it, thinking like oh that's a special effect like but did any of the little things that they did tweak did that like bother you in any way as like a big fan of the movie no not at all i mean it's like so minor that it didn't didn't Nothing like bothered me. Mm -hmm. Is it? I mean, is it better than any existing transfer of the movie? Well, I mean, did they, did they go debatable. back to the film? I mean, source? there's like the uh, the DNR, which is like the digital noise re removal. Uh -huh. That kind of makes things look a bit smoother mm -hmm. than uh, than they probably should. So less filmy looking. Yeah, which you know, like it's not like something I am too excited about. I guess there is a version, like the first Blu-ray version that was released was like really, had really bad DNR on it. Uh, I'm um, not sure which one I have. But there's another one that's like, that has no DNR at all. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you requested like a, a tap. Um, that is, but there's a version that's like not DNR at all. And I guess it like looks really filmy and like really good which that one is like eight dollars mm -hmm. and i may i may buy it I, do, I actually do not own it on blu-ray you're DVD. kidding oh, I have, the, the dvd version i have is like the first like big special edition that they had and uh it was like on a uh whatever they call it at the time like a dvd 9 or no no it was like a dvd 18 where they had where it had two had one disc and both sides had dual layers on it oh so they you know the movie was on one side the other side had all the special features it's, i don't think i've seen it, that before. a lot of players had had trouble with it 
so they only did it for like a couple of movies. Ah. Uh, so wait, you don't have it on Blu-ray, or you do? I do not have it on Blu-ray. I, I, that that really surprises me. Yeah, I should have it. I mean, it's stupid that I don't. Um. But I have I have the the DVD version. And I, ha I have I, it on VHS. I, I would be I'd be curious <laughs> which. Uh, which Blu-ray version I have, whether it has the noise reduction or not. You should look it up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of weird that I don't own it. On Blu-ray. That, that is really weird. But I mean, it's just like such a good movie. I mean, like that in... I believe that like that in Aliens are like the two best action movies of all time. I, I mean, I, th I, th I think Raiders of the Lost Ark is some yeah, stiff well, that's definitely like there. That's like definitely like, it's like that makes out like the third one. I, I feel like Raiders of the Lost Ark is probably my favorite action movie. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I think that it's Terminator 2, Aliens, and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Like it doesn't, like it does not get better than like that. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I... To be fair, uh, I've only seen Aliens once, which is crazy, but true. Um, actually, I've only seen Alien once as well, but uh, like I, I always thought that, that Alien and Aliens and Terminator 1 and Terminator 2 were so interesting and in that the first movie is a horror movie, like not really with like the traditional horror themes like, you know, zombies or supernatural monsters or slashers or whatever like not normal um horror themes but they are structured i'm gonna die they I are died. structured i've been knocked just... out i'm sorry <laughs> but they're structured like horror movies you know but it's an alien and it's a you know a, a metal man from the future trying to kill you <laughs> yeah yeah, um, the and then, yeah. so it's basically like like the first movie in each of those series is like. Um, you, wanna, you know, you the, the, the class. Yeah, before we play the message, I want to change my equation. Sure. Like, like the first one in each of those series is like a perfect horror movie, and then like the second one is like a perfect action movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should you should definitely watch Aliens again sometime soon. It is uh, holds up really well. Um, oh yeah, I don't doubt it. I, I I I know people like say it's really bad, but like I still haven't seen Aliens three and or, or Alien three, and like people say it's really bad, but I keep thinking, come on, how bad could it be? <laughs> It's surprising because it's David Fincher that directed it too. Yeah, it was like his first. His, yeah, it was like David Fincher's first like big movie. And there's like a work print that's on the like the special edition, which like has all the stuff that was cut out of the movie. Yeah. Oh. But I've never watched it. Hmm. You know, Alien Alien Three isn't. It's not like a bad movie. It's just that I think that the expectation were really really high going in with it because. After the second one, you know, you wanted them to pick up like the the plot strands, yeah, <laughs> and I mean, it doesn't so much because was there any plot strands left though? Really? Well, it's not it's not that. It's the fact that like they kill like all the characters like in between movies, like all that stuff, and like both like Hicks and and Newt are like dead in the movie. Hmm. Like like. All that stuff at the end of the uh, at the end of the second movie, all everything, and they like they're all dead. It's it's really really uh, really disappointing. Especially you know you like to see some, especially yeah. There there's a point where in the '80s where Michael Bean was like the best. Action, action style. Well, yeah, I mean, he talked about. I, went, I saw him uh, a couple weeks ago at the Tampa Bay Comic Con, mm -hmm. and he talked about like uh, how disappointing it was and like what happens in between those two movies. You know, they thought they should at least uh, 
continued that storyline or yeah. done something with it, right? Yeah, I mean, it would like it would have just like been such a a better uh, better movie if if they had those characters in it. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't I don't know much about. I've never really had a good concept off the top of my head of what the uh, other alien related movies are out there. I know there's a lot of like cross franchise well, movies there's only and like stuff two like aliens that. Versus, versus Predator. <laughs> Like but cute. I don't think I don't think anyone has really ever considered any of those to be that good either, no, right? No, no, no. I mean, they're certainly not what they should have been. I mean, they all take place on Earth, and you know, like if I didn't, never really read the comics yeah. that they were based on, but, but they're all like a three-way uh, fight between like aliens and predators, and they had like the Marines, like Marines from like Aliens, like caught in the middle, mm. and that would have been awesome if they had done yeah, that. That's what the comics. I read a couple of issues of comics. I read whole. But that was like I had the the Marines from like not like the exact characters, but like mm-hmm. colonial Marines, like yeah. in mm-hmm. like caught in the middle, which would have been awesome and awful. Like for some reason, all these movies never want to do anything they had like related to aliens, even though it's like <laughs> such a good movie. They're, it's it's no. like they're almost afraid to uh, bring any of the style of characters in because they know. Yes, they know what they're going to be compared against. Well, now the the um, the Alien Isolation game is supposed to be really good. Yes. Uh, which I have, and I still have not played, but it, it's supposed to be really good. We should do a thing on it, because like I have it too, and I haven't played it. Do you have the Nostromo edition? Uh, I believe that's correct. Where it has, like, you, know, you can play as like, the, the crew from the first movie. Oh, yeah. But it's is interesting. It... Like, I guess it connects to the first movie, because... The character you play as is is Ripley's daughter. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, like so, it takes place in that time between uh, Alien and, and Aliens, where she's like in, in like cryo sleep or whatever. Because by the time, like I think it's like rem- like she's like I didn't I didn't even know Ripley had a daughter. Really, so I didn't remember. Yeah, there's like a big like deleted scene in Aliens that has. You know, like her daughter is like old, and she's like has like grown old. It's huh. kind of interesting, or like has recently died or something. It's kind of it's fascinating. So wait, what? Wow. Hmm. Interesting. There's a really good box set of that of of one, two, three, and four uh, on Blu-ray. Wait, it's usually wait, not... what? What's what's four? Uh, Alien Resurrection, I believe. Hmm. Is it Alien Resurrection? Oh, uh, yeah. And when did that come out? Uh, that one came out when I was a senior in high school, so I think it came out in 97. Really? For some reason, I didn't think there was a, a, a newer Alien-related movie until much more recently. No, I mean, then there was, like, the Aliens vs. Predators, and then there was... Yeah, like, yeah, I thought, like, then 3 Prometheus was the last was, movie. Like, it was a prequel. Well, then... And uh, kind of sets up some story like before doesn't really have any aliens in it until like the very end. Huh. And then, then Covenant just came out, but I haven't seen it. Yeah. Adam saw it. it was I, a, I, I thought it was alright. Like but a lot of people say it's like really like killed, killed the series. Now. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was really Scott it was directed it. Special. Like, <laughs> for you know, he uh, he created the series and took it away. <laughs> so are, are you saying that the, like the story like kind of definitively ends it or no no it's just like it didn't do good yeah. uh so yeah because i like, think they were playing on making more of them after that one I yeah they're gonna have one more that kind of connects it directly mm. i think i can say that Yeah, the, these are pretty sprawling cities that you're yeah. in here. It seems like you can move around quite a lot. I mean, it seems like, you know, you can play online co-op, too, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I think I would enjoy these games, for sure. Now, I noticed that on the, on the, on your character select screen, like, all your weapons were, like, level zero. Do you know how to get better weapons? I don't. I don't know how to level them up, either. What if we get full of points? 
See, we're getting like armor, which raises the strength. I'm gonna see what happens. Maybe there is something I'm missing. Um, yeah, it does say level zero. Choose loadout. Wing divers. Choose loadout. Wing divers. I wonder how you live level up. Weapons. Or buy better ones. See, I can change my armor up to 163 now. Oh, did you want to change or no? Are you good? I'm good. All right, we're going to the underground cave. You know, actually, if, if, we're, if we're going, yeah, if we're going to go underground, I'm going to play as a, uh, as a ranger. Oh, oh that makes sense. You probably can't fly around. Yeah. Rangers can equip two oh, yeah. weapons. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna take a shotgun. Choose loadout. Rangers can equip two weapons. The what? The air tortoise. The air tortoise. <laughs> uh, and a grenade launcher. I'll take the attack. Choose a range. Choose loadout. Rangers can equip two. Oh, they're talking about the the Retron HD or the uh, ah. the, the HD. I have one over here, and the sounds really bad on the NAS one too. It's just mm. like it's it's completely wrong. Weird. But how much is it? It's like thirty dollars, so it's it's totally Select worth it for what it is, Selected for sure. Deploying. I think I want to do like an episode on like a bunch of clone systems in the future if we can. Yeah. The underground entrance is supposed to be in the small. I like that there's like you have unlimited ammunition too. Yeah. Well, you have to reload them. Yeah, but still, like, you don't have to worry about picking up more ammo. Yeah. Yeah. I can already tell that this looks smoother in this smaller area, or at least I think it does. Oh, Is yeah. it? Yeah, you can definitely tell. I can't believe you watched all eight Fast and the Furious movies in two days. <laughs> it was it was difficult. It was it was a challenge for sure. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it, it kind of did start to. Yeah. <laughs> like, there was, a, there was like a certain point, like, where I, where I was like, like, wait, how did this person get there? How did this person get this thing? And it was just because, like, like, by the end of it, like, my brain was just, like, phasing in and out. Like, I'm like, wait, how did, what did... <laughs> Can light up the area it, was, it, was, it was fun though. I mean, I feel like sometimes with certain things. Uh, which would you say is your favorite? Yeah. Uh, Someone's asking which uh, one's your favorite. It, um. Uh, um. I mean, I think that five is like considered the best one. I was gonna say probably five. That that was the heist one, right? Yeah, and that's like really yeah. the one where they really. You know, yeah. Things like really kind of come into its own. Yeah, I, I I would say probably five, but you know, like from that point on, they're all they're all pretty fun in in their own dumb way, you know. Yeah. Well, like, you know, heist heist movies are a fun concept in general, anyway. Yeah. And and like the the way like the the whole ending action scene was so stupid. <laughs> I just loved it. With the safe, yeah, yeah. like that was <laughs> that was a, that was pretty amazing. <laughs> but um, well, they're yeah, totally I, aware how like ridiculous those movies are. Probably, you know, yeah, like a, yeah. With that in mind, they, 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 they definitely like. It's, it's the same director the that did that did four, five, and six as well. Actually, I think it's that director starred at three, which is kind of crazy. Because oh yeah, it's like, you know what? You're right. Oh, yeah. And then the eighth movie is the same director as the first. Even though no, it's no, no, much... the, uh, the second one. The second one? Oh, yeah, really? Because, I thought... because the first one is like like Rob Cohen or whatever that did did like Dragonheart. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> we were just talking about Dragonheart the other day. Um, the Dragonheart and like Dragon the Bruce Lee story. <laughs> I don't know if he's done anything in a long time though. I'm going down here. I'm no, hoping. You're, you're yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not. 
Yeah, I don't know where you're going. I'm up in the subway. I don't know if there's anything. What are you anything, doing? I don't know if there's anything down here or not. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> this is what this uh, yeah, this one character just said, "Hey, don't die." <laughs> that kind of reminds me of, of some of the things that I the characters say in uh, um, Resident Evil Outbreak, which, like, man, I, whew, I, I, I don't know about those games. Yeah, I think we. Talked... I, I think I finished the first level in the first one, but who? It's it's a little rough. But I, I think like the first time I tried it, I was like, ooh, I don't know. And then the second time, like, I think I, 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 I think I'm developing the right mindset to go into those games with. <laughs> like you, I think I think you have to like kind of embrace their awkwardness. Yeah. They're, they're definitely awkward. Yeah, I don't think there's flying, uh, that flying class oh, geez, would have been what are these? good for this level. What? Oh my god, I, oh, I don't know if they are. They're big... Oh. <laughs> Man, it's like giving me, like, saying my skin crawl. Oh, jeez. In the darkness? <laughs> what are those? They're spiders. They're like jump... But they're jumping like frogs. I know. <laughs> they're horrifying. They're like wolf spiders. Looking. Yeah, wolf spiders are. I just say wolf spiders are some of like the most harmless spiders, but they just look horrible. Yeah, <laughs> Jeez, they're coming. Oh, God. Jeez. Oh my gosh, when you get like close to him. Yeah. Oh gosh. I, yeah, this is just like the sixth level. I can't even imagine what we have in store for us. <laughs> I don't know. We try we look this up on how long to beat. Oh yeah. Oh I always like taking a good gander at how long to beat. I mean, we're not beating it tonight. Are you? No. Here we come. I have a feeling it's actually probably pretty long. Oh, no, I, I mean, it's it's obviously unrelated, but I, I don't think I knew there was a game on Super Nintendo called Earth Defense Force. Oh, that's it's a shooter. Oh. Yeah, it says one and a half hours for that. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, let's see. Ah, uh, four point one. Whoa, it's pretty long. Is it really? Yeah, it's like. Hold on, let me let me get the breakdown here. It's a lot longer than I would have expected. It's like. It looks like it's like at least 20 hours. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's looking like it's like between like it, it looks like you could spend as little as like 20 hours, but it could also be like what is like completion? I wonder tw tw 25 to 30. Uh, th there's actually surprisingly few entries for it uh, on here. Um, it seems no... like one of those games that probably a lot of people. And yeah, a lot of people buy it and then never get around to playing it because they know that yeah. they have so much fun with it. That's brought up some. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's like a. Oh, it's for like multiplayer. You can have it say. Oh, you can. You can have them say things. How did you bring that up? Good job. You can have them yell EDF. How'd you get, how'd you get, <laughs> it's just the, the touchpad. Okay. Oh, okay, we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Cool. Oh, there, see, there's a gun, it's a reverser at the level one. We just, we 100 we... plus missions and five plus difficulty. Wow. hundreds of hours getting the platinum. Poof. I'm gonna stay with this. That, 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 that almost is making me, uh, almost dissuading me here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try the reverser since it's level one. 
Oh, that's better than level zero for sure. Yeah. Eruption. Oh, these things are gonna come out of the ground now. Fantastic. But yeah, if you use this thing, you make it safe next. <coughs> like, good job. <laughs> good job. So, did you um, did you get the um, Amazon uh, pre-order bonus for Uncharted Lost Legacy, or are you going to pick it up later? Oh, I, I didn't get that. I, know, I, I do want to get it. I had uh, I had no idea that um, they were uh, that Amazon was giving me a code for uh, the Jack and Daxter. Uh, emulated thing on uh, P for PS4. Um, Did you play it yet? Yeah, I, 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 I turned it on, you know, just played several minutes. Like, I am not that impressed with the look of PS2 games on PS4. Like, I, I, I would have to go back and uh, check out the, uh, the proper PS3 port, but, I mean, I'm you sure... you have the collection on PS3? I don't. I, I just have the first one digitally. Okay, right. <laughs> first one is such a good game. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's like, that's the only one that matters. Yeah. Which is a weird thing to say about, you know, like, is Naughty Dog, you know? Yeah, because Naughty Dog is, like, like all the Uncharted games are, you know, great. Well, three to a lesser extent, I feel. But, like, you know. Like, Naughty Dog, you can count on being pretty consistently great. Yeah. We I mean, know that not that Uncharted 3 is bad. It's just kind of like there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I played through uh, Lost, Lost Legacy and thought it was pretty good. Well, I've, I've seen a lot of people say, like, this is like, it's like the true, like, how you'd want Uncharted to be on PS4. But it doesn't have, like, the really long, drawn-out story of the fourth one. Not that it was bad, but I have to admit, like, I have not replayed it since that first time. And then, and you know... Well, like, like, I mean, we, we, we rarely find the time to replay games nowadays anyway. But, uh, but even but... still, like, I did replay 1, 2, and 3 multiple times. And I have Platinum on all those and also on Golden Abyss. I mean, I think... I feel like 4 had, like, a, a very good story. And, like, I thought, like... You know, I thought Sam Drake was a, a good character to add to the to the main cast, but um, but it did have like a lot of like just long drawn out like exploration sections, which were which were fun like at the time, but I feel like would really drag on a replay. Right. Um, like yeah, like I mean, Lost Legacy was I mean it was fairly long, but it was definitely like a condensed Uncharted story. I mean, I would say it was probably eight or nine hours. And but I this did looks like pretty good I to did, me though. Yeah, yeah. Because I, mean, I think I that maybe like, the fourth one was like a little long. Oh, it definitely was. But you know what else I thought was kind of long was uh, Golden Abyss. Uh, but I actually really like that. I feel like that's pretty underrated. Yeah, it's too bad that it was not included in the, uh, in the collection. That they did. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, I, I, I thought it was really good. It definitely, in a lot of ways, I think it has a vibe like closer to Uncharted 2 than like any of the other sequels. Well, like, that's gonna sell me the game. <laughs> yeah, it it was, it was like it's kind of like it's kind of like I would almost say it's like a cross between like two and four in terms of the tone. That's cool. Though. Yeah, is, absolutely. Is it pick up? <coughs> is it like definitely after the fourth game? It is definitely after the fourth game. I don't look anything up because there's like. There, there's some things that surprise me, to, you know, in the in the second half. Okay, well, I never look up things anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but try to avoid. But yeah, it. Um. Uh. It's. I thought. I thought it was going to be a prequel. I thought it was going to take place before four, but it's. It is 100 percent after four. Now there's there's like a totally different team behind it, right? Uh, I think so, because I think, like, the main... Because they're all working on Last of Us 2. Yeah, yeah. It was, sorry, it was, Last uh... Of Us Part 2. Yeah, it was, it was different, uh... It was, it was a different director. 
uh, or it was two directors, but they were they were different. Not what what was it? Juckman and Straley. Yeah. Which is is weird because like I think that they definitely did. Didn't they do the DLC for Last of Us? Like they did it themselves. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But um, like. The Lost Legacy definitely took me a couple hours to really feel like I was getting into it. Like, I felt like the opening wasn't very strong. But then it, it definitely gets really good, though. Hmm. Well, I, I, I don't have time to play it right now. I gotta finish next week's episode still. I mean, since you missed the, the pre-order discount you may as well wait a couple of months maybe it'll be it'll be at least 29.99 like black friday it'll probably be 29.99 oh it probably i bet it'll be that before then yeah but you you could have got that jack and daxon but i was like oh thanks for the gift sony because or amazon because um because that i i needed to get it i felt like i needed to get at least one or two more uh, PS2 games on PS4 before... That's a pretty good uh, one to get. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because, like, the only other one that I was, like, kind of thinking about was maybe Wild Arms 3, but the one I had previously was um, Road Galaxy, and I kind of thought, like, I needed something that wasn't cell-shaded. Yeah. Just, like, to have something with a different look to compare. Yeah. Um, I really, I, I like the look of the cell shading and um, Wild Arms 3, though. But you, do you, what do you have? <coughs> I don't think I have any. Really? I thought you had one. I wanted to get Dark Cloud 2, but I just haven't, just haven't. Because we, when they were on sale, there were some on sale. Oh, that's right. I think you were going to get Dark Cloud 2, but then you, uh, I forgot. you, you missed the window. So, I mean... I, I, I guess we could probably get away with uh, just having Jack and Daxter and Rogue Galaxy if we had to. But I might look up one more. Like, I, I would like, like, a 60 frames game. Yeah. Or, or is Jack is, and Daxter 60 frames? Well, I can't, maybe it is. Maybe it is. But that's a good one because there's, you know, PS2, PS3, and PS4 version of that. Yes, absolutely. But Rogue Galaxy is also a good example in the sense that it never got like an H a proper HD port. Right. But I mean, that's you know, that's that's a good game to get. And it is surprising that you said you said that it's surprising that Rogue Galaxy didn't. It's it's kind of weird they didn't make like a uh, what you want to call it collection. like a level like a level five collection. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been. Like, I don't love level 5 that much, but I want to. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't, is that the reverser? I can't figure out that. Porch. You gotta get close. I mean, probably it's a torch. Like... Do you have Rogue Galaxy on PS2? I do. Okay. Because I, I used to. I don't have it anymore. But... I got it when it was, uh, when Circuit City was going out of business. Ah. Uh, I've, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but the final battle in Rogue Galaxy is the mat, the maddest I've ever been at a video game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you ever throw your controller? I've done it. Yeah. Do you have, do you have any specific times you remember it? Oh jeez. Um. I don't know, actually, the game has been really kind of easy. Actually, but it's, <laughs> it's been a while since I played. I don't play that. I mean, I play, don't play that game. Like, the last one I always said, like, the last one that really got me was F-Zero GX Story Mode. Mmm, that's rough. That is rough. I would, yeah, I would love to beat that. Though. Actually, I thought uh, Transformers Devastation was pretty good. Oh, did you? Did yeah. You? See, I didn't have that much See, yeah, yeah, I know, time. You have one more skill of the game. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just like, it's because it's, like, so much, like, ban out of, like, a lot of their other games. Yeah. I'm gonna, like, There's I think a couple I'm moments in there where I, I think I threw a controller around. <laughs> but yeah, that's like the one time I threw a controller was Rogue Galaxy 2 Final Boss. Did you immediately like, 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 why did I just do that? Or were you like, 
Really not like really. Stuff. Like it was. I mean, it was actually fine. It was uh, at the it time I had. It so good, probably. <laughs> well, it. Well, I, I. I mean, part of it was because it was like it was like a Logitech wireless controller, and like I, I, I was using them a lot of the time, but I also kind of just like didn't care that much because it was a third-party controller. Uh, but it was actually a pretty good controller. It was shaped a little weirdly, but I, I had been using it as my main PS2 controller for years. And so I was kind of used to it, but um, uh, yeah, I mean, it was fine. Maybe it didn't hit it. It, so it didn't hit anything else, but it went like all the way across the room. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, man, I, I mean, it's because like the battle takes like 50 minutes and it's like not even that hard until like right toward the end, you have to block this one attack like with perfect timing that I didn't even know was coming. And, like, the game hadn't really forced you to do blocking, like, up until that point. And so, like, I wasn't very practiced at it. <laughs> and, like, all of a sudden, like, if you don't block this attack, it's like one-hit kill. And there's just no warning. <laughs> and, and it... Like, so you don't like think you could, like, could you grind enough or do the enemy level with you? Uh, I mean, it probably would have taken quite a lot. But I did. I mean, I... I I blocked the attack. I mean, I think it took me three times total, but it's just so annoying because it took 50 minutes twice to get up to that point. And yeah. it was like, it was like, you know, it was like two in the morning. And here I was <laughs> thinking I was like, going oh, to beat the game, like, you know, at a reasonable hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, but, that never happens. I mean, I hate it when you have, like, I'm going to the final dungeon. It's like nine o'clock. Yeah. And it's so long and you end up, like, you're until, like, Four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, for some and, you reason, know, like for you, it's like not that bad, but it, like it's when it gets like that late at night. It's yeah. like I'm like, well, I don't want my wife to wake up and like me not be in bed, <laughs> and then she's like, comes up and she's like, what are you doing? Still <laughs> like that's like like it's like a constant fear like, that of happening. I think it's like it's, I don't know if like anybody who's like married feels that way. But, like like it's just like well you know I'm. I'm about to beat this game. Like, you're gonna be tired. <laughs> like, like the annoying thing totally is worth that, it though, dude. Yeah. The, the the annoying thing is that I I feel like I feel like I like games just don't you you can't beat games in like the middle of the day. It's like always gotta be like late at night when you're finishing the game. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta turn the lights off. And... No, well, it's not like I, I'm not saying like it's not, I'm not it's saying not a like purpose. It just happens. Yeah, yeah, it's just like why can't why couldn't I finish this game like hours before bedtime? <laughs> yeah, and then there's the, the occasional time where you kind of like like prepare for it, and then it's, it still takes like two hours longer than you thought it. Or was. sometimes it doesn't take like any time at all. It's like <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll like start another yeah, game. Yeah, well that. that, that that's, <laughs> That's kind of how that's kind of how it was with me and uh, I am Setsuna because like I brought it on the trip to Missouri and I I thought that there was going to be like like I knew I was right at the end of the game but I thought there at first I thought there probably wasn't going to be a dungeon and then I thought no nah, I think there's going to be a dungeon and then there wasn't a dungeon <laughs> so I, like I beat the game before I even got on no I didn't beat it before the first flight I, I all like I was in the middle of the final battle when I had to like start boarding and then I like finished it in the first few minutes of the flight <laughs> in the first few minutes of the flight well I mean I mean that was a short flight but it didn't uh, it did not take long uh, for people in the chat, we did not get pre-orders for the SNES Classic. No, no. Like, well, didn't it go up, like, at, like, 4 a.m. or something? Yeah. Or, no, it was, like, it's got to be a little bit earlier than that. <clears throat> but on that same uh, tip, like, I missed getting the, uh, the, the GDMU, or EMU, mm. for the, uh, which is the SD card reader for the Dreamcast, the drive replacement. And it went up, it, like, the time difference, it went up, like, it, I want to say it was, like, after midnight. So I missed that, too. Yeah. Thankfully, I, I, I was not paying attention when the Xbox One X pre-orders went up. 
Um, and I miss Amazon, but I got Best Buy. But then Amazon went up again a few days later, and um, I managed to get one there. So as soon as I can confirm, like the Best Buy is free release date delivery, and I don't have that confirmation on Amazon yet. I'd rather do Amazon because I get more uh, credit card rewards points uh, buying it at Amazon. So right. if if I can get confirmation that, that it's going to be release date delivery... Uh, for the Xbox One X, then I will keep my Amazon pre-order and cancel the Best Buy. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm kind of waiting and seeing. But I feel like it's important to get that system like ASAP because what I want to do, if at all possible, is to kind of get this 4K TV episode like largely edited before the Xbox One X comes out and then put in what I need to regarding that. And I would like to get that whole episode out before thanksgiving um and have it not too long because like you can't do an episode like that and not have the xbox one x in it at this point right. you know like they would be stupid Wait, what's this alarm that's going on but i i was like i was so prepared to buy the gdm unit. I was talking about it like days beforehand. Like, oh, it's going to go up for sale. So, I, like, I I have the uh, the Phoebe, and I really want to do an episode. I was like, well, if I can get the GDMU, then I can like do it all in one. Mm -hmm. Get off! Talk to me. Yeah, see, M Amazon still does not have a delivery date estimate yet, so that kind of concerns me. I'm, I mean, I might have to end up sticking with the Best Buy. Um. Does anyone uh, know if Amazon ever had pre-orders for um, for the Metroid for the the Samus Returns uh, special edition? Because I really want the CD. Yeah, I didn't. I never saw it go up. Or I never saw any mention, mentions of it either. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm signed up for like the notify me when this goes live, but I I can't recall a time where that ever worked. I don't think that works. <laughs> oh, the, uh, like the notify yeah, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it never works. Tempest is approaching target now. I, I never got one for the SNES, even though I had, had the list. I mean, I wonder if I could just walk in to GameStop the day Metroid comes out and just get the special edition i don't know i mean I, I would i would really like the prime discount though but i i want that cd maybe you should sign up for the best buy gamers club unlocked or whatever that's what i'm really saying <laughs> you should do yeah I, i've seen people talk about that like it's basically amazon prime discount but uh i think it's on any, everything all the time like not just oh. on pre-orders or like new releases I like, appreciate. every game you buy is 20% discount? Yeah. Really? I mean, how much How much does it cost? I don't think it's super expensive. But, but you can I also, mean, like, stack it with other things, too. What do you mean? Non-game things? Well, no, if there's, uh, like, other uh, discounts that are going out. Oh, uh, okay. that could be a good deal. I mean, you should look up, see if it's... See, a lot of people saying Rub is saying like they they had it. Hmm. I mean, I mean it's just the thing is itself. I mean it's just the thing is like Best Buy is like Oh god. I'm, I don't know, I'm trying to get the up. I need to I wonder if I can revive you, but this these guys are almost dead too. I know. Best Buy is probably like 15, 20 minutes away and I don't like going to you stores and you know, Amazon delivery is just so much more convenient. You know, I wish I could. Right, right next to me for I am. I think. Yeah. Oh, right my oh. oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can bring it back. Gamers Club unlocked. Like, why does it need to be that that many words? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm underneath the spot. <laughs> wow, so you can get a. A two-year membership for thirty dollars? Really? Yeah. Oh. 
is, let's see, 20% off new physical video games, including pre-orders, 10% off pre-owned, 2x my best buy points on qualified purchases, special coupons, exclusive offers, and more. But the thing is, like, I feel like, I feel like if I go into Best Buy and I, I look at, like, some random, you know, AAA game that's been out for two or three months, and it's still, like, $60, and it might be, like, 45 on Amazon. Can I revive him? Kind of sucks because he can't. It seems like a. Maybe yeah, you can with a certain amount of time. <laughs> Question is though, does it work on on consoles or hardware accessories? Probably not. You get twenty percent off of Amiibos too. Oh, that's interesting. But yeah, I, I, it's kind of the same problem with me. Is like the Best Buy is like twenty <laughs> minutes away. Yeah, it's so probably. Good. Yeah, I mean, it's probably less than that for me, but it's just like, I'm not it's, just in, long, it's just inconvenient. Like, I mean, it, I mean, I, I would, I mean, I'd get it right now if, if it uh, reduces the price of my Xbox One X pre-order, but I assume it doesn't work on hardware. Well, look it up. Just say, like, is it? Doesn't apply toward consoles, or at least that was on a post two years ago. Uh, somehow I'm staying alive here. I think this level is almost over, anyways. That's too bad I can't revive him. Yeah, I know, I get to watch now. I know, well, that's how co op always works. But you can listen to the conversation yeah. that <laughs> the NPCs say. Okay, I'm gonna fly over here. Two yes, more left? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I could consider it. It's just that I feel like games are already cheaper on Amazon most of the time anyway. Yeah. But not always. I mean, did you, did like, you get some clearance stuff? Well, I mean, the last time I bought anything at Best Buy was the Switch. Yeah, same here. Oh, that's cool. You see, you can the controller to do it. Oh, it's right there. This has got to be it. Please let that be it. Yeah, there's no way on. There we go. We did it! Yeah. Yeah. So how many levels in are you at this point? Uh, let's find out. It was like eight, maybe. Are you changing? No, I'm going to get a different weapon. You got some armor that raises strength. Choose loadout. Wing divers can equip two weapons. Ooh, this one? They had like a really long explanation. This was level two. Yeah, I mean, you use that. Let's, yeah. Yeah. Let's check it out. Wing divers can equip two weapons. Uh, oh, it's an electro chain gun. I mean, that sounds awesome. Uh, we are ten levels in. 
<coughs> oh, destroy the giant creatures. Attack the city. <laughs> you mean they haven't been giant already? Oh, look, they're gonna get a cutscene. Oh. <coughs> this can't be good. This cannot be good. It's Independence Day. <laughs> it is. Wow, that, that was an impressive seashore shot. Yeah. <laughs> Some viewers. That's a spear. It is. is once again under siege. The Ravager fleet has split up, and motherships are focusing their attacks on major Earth cities. Our time on this it's, it's, it's Earth. It's it's the Death Star. Maybe at an end. <laughs> <laughs> no moon, that's for sure. So did, did you finish Knights? I know you're playing Knights. Me? Yeah. No, I want. I, I want. I haven't. No. Oh. Have you even played it at all since you like? N no, no, no. Oh. I was thinking about, I guess. Oh. But I, 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 I've not. Played. I thought you were gonna keep your, everything going because you were like a beat. I had a good 20, backlog chain going. Well, twenty, like, like twenty games or something. It's 20 not, games? I'm just what are you talking about? It'd be funny if you had, like, beaten 20 games. I was just saying, like, you beat no. a lot. I, 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 yeah, I mean, I, 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 I kind of got on a little bit of a roll. I, I beat, um, Game & Watch Gallery 3. Really? Yeah, I, um, uh, I unlocked the credits, which actually was a little more difficult than you might think. You've been trying to do that for a while, though, because you want to, like, do a video on those, right? Yeah, well, sort of. Like, those and, like, I kind of want to do a video on, like, all of the home versions of Game & Watch games. Like, or all the 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 non-actual Game & Watch, uh, physical Game & Watches, you know, the the games. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that that's... That was definitely now. Like, and I checked. Like, I double checked all my game cartridges, Game Watch game cartridges after I did that, just to make sure I did have like all of the games unlocked, and I do. So you know, I can you know as soon as I I find a a good gap in our production schedule uh, to fill that with, like that's an episode I can make pretty easily. Yeah. Well, my next episode is going to be Sega Ages twenty five hundred. I was originally going to do 11 games in the episode. I was going to break it up into three episodes, or three episodes of 11 games each. And then I was going to make it, that seemed like too many, and it was going to be too long. Then I decided I was going to do like seven games in the episode, and then that ended up being too long. So now this it's going to be broken up into like six episodes. Or five over, episodes. At this point. Probably over a long time, though. Yeah, but I but I can do them like like a bit quicker. Like they're, they're a good thing to like, fill in gaps, I think. Yeah. Or when I need, like, some, like, like easier episodes to work on. Yeah. Um, but it's going to cover the first five, so I'm going to kind of go in order. Mm -hmm. um, but I just found out today that my uh, my RGB modded game gear is going to be here pretty soon via uh, Voltar. So that means that I'm probably going to go right into doing uh, portable EverDrive right after this. Which I'm excited about. Did you learn your lesson? And you're like, I don't know if you've like, you haven't worked on PS2 too much, but that's like your next one. Yeah, I mean the sc the script is in progress. Look at that thing. It's pretty cool looking, actually. It's, it's the mothership. <laughs> uh, there, there's a question on if we're going to do a video on the the GameCube HDMI adapter, and and for those who haven't seen, well, I mean we we had been reading about there being some serious issues with the uh, GameCube HDMI adapter as it is in its current form, and um, uh, Metal for a, Jesus for a while, like we've like known about it. We well yeah we know there was an issue but we we didn't know that there was still issues with the current version until we we you know saw some form talk about yeah, how exactly. like it could easily short out a system and you know sure enough 
uh, you know, Metal Jesus uh, did, you know, this video on the adapter, which, you know, got a lot of attention and, and got a lot of pre-orders on this HDMI uh, device because so many people saw it. And then he had to do an update video because it his, his system got sort of knocked at a party and uh, that caused the, the unit to move in such a way where these pins that could short out the system and, and ruin the system and the adapter, uh, you know, connect. So it's, it's not like it's ultra likely, but it's still like a very risky design the way it's right. currently made. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's kind of not an ideal situation still like it, it you know, it's, it's really unfortunate, but like it's, you know, good, good GameCube solutions are hard to come by still. Yeah. And you know, what's even funnier is the fact that I was linked a, uh, an eBay, uh, listing today for one of those adapters for $300. Oh gosh. I don't know if it actually sold or not. But I mean, just get the component cables if, that, if, that's, if you're going to spend that money. Exactly. But you know, he's just like seeing what he could sell it for, I guess, so annoyed. Like, would somebody actually buy this thing as much? Maybe. Uh, I, I feel like a scalper could come up with a much more efficient way to make money. Yeah. <coughs> uh, does anybody know what the number of Ease Origin pre-sales limited run had? Oh, yeah, I'm curious. Like, did they do better? or? I think I read somewhere, like, before it was over, that it was, like, on pace to be, like exactly the number that they pretty much like we're going to have made anyway. <laughs> because you know I think a lot of people were angry that like oh it's not limited anymore and like it's kind of a weird thing you know like people say like oh I don't want it to be unlimited it makes them not want it it makes like people who are going to buy it to resell not buy it yeah, I mean it's it's such a it's such a weird situation. I mean the 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 rarity aspect doesn't particularly interest me. It's just you know I want certain games on physical media, but at the same time I like. I mean I understand what they're saying when they say that that a, a large part of their audience is like in it for the rarity and like they, you know I, I understand like. I mean it's it's a tricky it's a tricky situation to manage. It's. It's hard to make everyone happy with, you know, one solution, you know? Right. Um, but, uh, I mean... I mean, part, part, part of me wishes I could have just bought it and, you know, it'd be here sooner, you know, but now I have to wait till October. Not that I would have had time to play it anyway, because, I mean, if nothing else, I mean, <laughs> heck, you know, Ease 8 comes out, like, middle of September, and... Yeah. Uh, you like know, in two we're, weeks we're, it comes out. We're both pretty excited about that. Yeah, I mean that's gonna be a day one start for me. What's that one? Uh, Ease eight. Oh. Wise. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> Wait, what the? Oh, yeah. No, I got it. I unlocked a memory today when, I, or not today, but a few a few days ago, when I saw uh, when I bought a VHS copy of Top Gun from uh, Goodwill. It was unopened. Mm. You, you saw my my message about it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Where I uh, you, you're gonna change your weapon? No. Okay. Select a um, Select a de deploy I bought it the same day that I, I I saw Top Gun for the first time, the same day that I beat. Wise, as it was called, on, it, it, it actually wise. says wise. Why apostrophe us? Yeah, on the uh, master system. You know, since you were you were a fan of the Ease series, was it was it difficult to adjust to calling it Ease? Yeah, because as a kid, I mean, we always thought it was wise. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it well, actually, like, it was. <laughs> It's how it's it, 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 it's, it's, as far as Sega was concerned, it was wise. Yeah. And Adol was uh, Aaron in that version. 
Really? Yeah. Huh. I think it's a pretty good version to get. I mean, it's like, I think it's a pretty good game. Um, like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't get into the easy games until, like... Like, I was already aware that it was supposed to be pronounced ease. But I, I mean, I didn't think it was wise, or I, I did, I, I'm not sure if I entirely knew how to say it, but it, ease was definitely not my, my first instinct on how to say it. Um, but yeah, I, I wasn't into it until I already knew. But, uh. These things are way more fun to fight than the insects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like, yeah, they do blow up. But I think that <coughs> Ease 8 is probably like my most anticipated game like right now. Yeah, I would love to start day one, but I feel like I probably won't be able to because I'll probably be into the PS2 episode at that time. Yeah. I wonder how long it's going to be, because they're definitely longer than they used to be. Yeah, but they're, like, yeah, 7 was, was pretty long. But I mean, like Cell said it, like, I mean, like for a long time they were like between like 8 to 12 hours. Max. Yeah, yeah. Se 7 has a lot of filler, I feel. Yeah, but, but I feel like... Cell Seta yeah. is also, Cell Seta is fairly long, but I don't feel like it has the filler problem that 7 has. That's why I definitely like Cell Seta more. Yeah. I think my main concern is that since Exit is not doing it, that I want... Whoa! That just like filled us both. <laughs> what was that? I, I I don't know, but it like just killed us both. Um. I mean, I think that I'm. I just like I'm just concerned that uh, I just want the translations to match, like the names that they have for certain things. Mm -hmm. I want them to be like okay, so I want I want I want it to be the same as it's been established at this point. I want them to. I mean, I I can't really think of, off the top of my head of like a lot of like particulars like I can't really think of like what common item names are and stuff like that um I mean each, well I mean there's each... like always like references like the countries and stuff yeah I don't really I, I mean other than like Felgana and you know uh, Celsetta like I can't remember but they always talk about like, of... the, like the ROM army and stuff like that even though you only, I think that they're only in the fifth game oh, no, they're, which... they're, they're, they're in seven as well yeah, like I don't. Oh. Yeah, um, I can't quite recall that all that much. I, I haven't played five. Uh, PS episode will hopefully be September. That's the. Uh, that's. That's the hope. Yeah. I, I I had I had a really rough work of week. A oh, rough work of week. That that's how that's how rough <laughs> it was. It made me it made me say that. I had a really rough week of work couple of weeks ago and I just like I needed to just like stop and play video games after that so uh, you just need uh, to like stop and watch Fast and Furious <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that also happened to turn your uh, yeah I, I definitely I definitely needed to just like switch off for like a week after that but uh but yeah I'm I'm I'm, I'm hopefully gonna be uh gonna be get, getting back into that pretty good this week that's my hope anyway uh, oh geez i'm right by the gun that's what's gonna shoot oh geez how about yes yeah, i'm dead. gonna die again holy cow let's i can get out of here come on where is it i don't know but i think it's gonna shoot trying to get away from it come on come on hear it Man, there are just a ton of those things falling out of the ship. Oh my God. Yeah, but it like really just did a number here. Yeah, hit me again. <laughs> did it shoot you directly? I'm dead. <laughs> Dumb on you. There's a lot of enemies. Yeah. It's all up to you now, buddy. I got this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm for a big gun shoot. Yeah. Well, if I... 
wish you could like get things to make your jetpack recharge faster. Thank you. What? Trying to save you, right? I, well, I mean, I wonder if it's possible to bring you back to life. Sheesh. Am I on the edge, maybe? Oh, yeah, there, so there is an invisible wall. You can't hit an invisible wall. I'm gonna die though, I mean, I gotta say. This is, this is a pretty intense battle. Speaking from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Yeah, I know, good job. Too bad I can't help you at all. I don't know how to go there. I know, it's, it's pretty warm in here. Yeah. I wish there was a. Alright. Come on, just take all them out. I'm trying to <laughs> Like, what, what do you have to take out to win the level? I don't know. Like, all these ships seems like a lot. Although, I guess they die pretty quick, but. I died. There, there is a lot, though. I wonder if there's something else I gotta do. Do any of the classes have like a a bigger explosion attack or something? <laughs> I don't know. Destroy that gun. I guess I'm thinking that gun is very good. Anyway. I don't like that. It's like mushrooms are going to level two. Then. Maybe they're trying to tell us stuff. We can't hear their voice. <laughs> Could be. Well, it's not, it's not that they take forever to kill, it's just it's... No, my gun takes forever to recharge me. But don't use the Ixion two-way, I'd use something else. Well, oh, you have that one. Yeah, I don't like that one. Really. Oh, yeah, I don't like that one either. I thought you had the plasma. Like no. I I'll change it after the first time, because I'll bring it through it. Uh, yes, the PS2 HDMI adapter will be in the PS2 episode. In fact, there will be... Uh, I believe two versions of it, thanks to uh, HD Retrovision's research uh, into uh, how that device uh, works, because they're actually two distinct ones. Right. Um, I think one of them does. I forget the, 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 the distinction. I think one does 240p correctly and the other doesn't. Is that the one? One, one, might, one might just be a pass-through and one might upscale. I forget exactly. And there's difference. definitely differences in component cables. Like even like first party component cables. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hoping to uh, borrow uh, a few uh, different ones. Well, uh, if you need the metal barrel ones, those ones I have. I have, See, extra, I, I have an extra set too. Oh, I didn't know you had an extra set. I, I've got the metal barrel, which officially those are PS3. Yes. Um. But you already have some. Uh, I've got metal barrel for PSP. Uh, but I've got like the, I think it's a hexagon shaped barrel, rubber barrel for um. You know they were. PS2 cables. I mean, I bought them in, I think, 2004. I'm, I'm gonna find it. <laughs> I'll throw my controller right now. Yeah. Well, the PS2 monster You're cable will be in the episode. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get my hands on the monster cable or not. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it won't be any better than official ones. Press the vehicle rescue button to perform a rescue. 
There we go. You're All back. Right. I succeeded. I told you how you do that. So you press circle. Have we ever thought about doing an episode about old PC games? We, we would love to, but it's not really something that we have. We don't really have. Uh, we don't really have the hardware for it. Uh, and I also don't just don't feel very well informed <laughs> uh, yeah. about that. Stuff. I mean, that stuff to, to LGR. Yeah, I mean, that stuff was like way more popular in like Britain and stuff. And like, that's just like not really part of our history that we're familiar with um so i mean i, I definitely have an interest in, in in seeing how all that stuff uh you know works and how you can get you know the better quality and stuff and but it's just it, it that that is a whole that is a big rabbit hole that we have not ventured down I guess I can only do it once so many times. Okay, Nick uh, says that the PS2 HDMI thing is not upscaling versus not upscaling. It's a different chip. One does not work with 240p. Austin is saying that the PS2 monster cables have a death grip and can break the ports on your TV if not careful. You know, I, I um, I, I, I've got monster cable, monster S video cables for Super Nintendo, and I, I kind of feel the same way about those. You know, they, the quality looks identical to the cheap S video cables I have, and I prefer to use those over the monster ones because the monster ones just like. Seems like they fit into the port like really stiff, um, and and it really does feel like, especially with something kind of you know, it doesn't feel as uh, sturdy like an S video port. I always think they feel like you know they could come loose, and you know of course the pins can get bent easily, um, but yeah, uh, it, it I, I try to avoid using the monster ones uh, for SNES at least because. It, it, they just feel like they fit in there a little too stiff. Uh, I, think, I think you just have to survive long enough until I like the uh, Yes, I think so too. Here, I want to change my weapons if we can. Yeah, I'm gonna, let's do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, the cavalry bones were over. Yeah. I'm gonna change mine too. I'm gonna get rid of Choose that. Yeah, okay. Wing divers can okay. equip two oh, weapons. Oh yeah, Ryan. Uh, if you, I mean, if you want to loan us, uh, you know, uh, any uh, anything like those, uh, the monster cables, or you know, something like that, um, <laughs> just look on our about page to see the uh, the PO box for me. Send it to me because I'm the one working on the episode. Um, yeah, we would we would absolutely appreciate that. Uh, just. Uh, uh, let me know what uh, what address to send back to, and uh, you know, just expect to be without it for, you know, uh, maybe a couple months. But then we'll send it back. That'd be great. We'd really appreciate that. Uh, any particular brand of SNES N64 S video cable recommend? No. Um, unfortunately, I don't have official ones anymore. Um, uh, I've got just like a cheapo, as far as I know, no name brand that I got on eBay years ago. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, the, I mean, the cheap ones to me look as good as the monster ones, so. But we haven't like done any real tests. Nothing, nothing. Well, I sort of did for the SNES. Um, or yeah, well, when I was working on the N64 episode, I kind of I kind of did a comparison. I don't think I put it in the episode. Oh, oh, but... you're talking about S video. Yeah. S video, yeah, yeah. For some reason, I thought you were talking about PS3. Yeah. Uh, Scott Davis, uh, the official PS3 component cables. I assume you're talking about the barrel uh, style ones. I mean, Corey says he's got those and he has an extra set. Yeah, so... I guess I an extra set. So we're probably good on that. I've got the hexagonal barrel style which i believe is officially for ps2 i mean i bought them before the ps3 came out so that's what i've always had and i think i think steve is going to send me some 
And they might include third parties. I, I don't know. I need to I need to check on exactly what he's got that I can borrow. Um, I've like written a draft of the episode like up to the point where it's about like specific cables, but that's actually that's actually pretty far into the episode. Well, look, this person. Yeah, just fly away from it. Oh, I, I, I see it. Ugh, I see that coming down. Yeah. They're probably far away. You can't fly any further than that. I mean, what else is there really that you, that you can think of that you, you might need? Um, I, I, just, I need to double check what Steve's got available to send right. me. Um, because a lot of the things that I don't have, I was I was planning to borrow from him. Uh, which includes like the other type of HDMI adapter. Um, I find it's like actually looks <laughs> pretty good to stay on the ground. Yeah. Ah, there are too many. <laughs> There's too many of them. So Jared Y is saying, tip for the passer on PS2 to HDMI, if you plug the HDMI in on the generic scaler, it correctly recognizes the input as 240p. Is that like the same scaler that you've got? Like the SCART, does it have an HDMI input? I can always send it to you if I went on. But does it have an HDMI input it in does, addition to yeah. the SCART? I, I, That's there, interesting. There was a point where there was a hope that that would like normalize the, uh, the uh, OSSC signal, but it doesn't work that well. It does mm. process it. Mm. I was hoping it would just like pass through the HDMI. Yeah. Jeez. I'm, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Oh, you can revive each other? Uh, I, I don't know like, if, if I have a certain amount of time to do it or not. I'm gonna try. Oh, maybe you only have a certain amount of time. Yeah. You, you, is there a timer or something? Self -propelled rocket launcher is in position. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll make it through Good. this level. Have it support the infantry units. Um, did I do If they use a self-propelled rocket launcher. There we, there go. we go. I did it. Cool, thanks. It's your directional pad. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't, it's, it's everything's like exploding now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's 11 o'clock. I had no idea. Holy cow, is it really? Yeah. The string's gone pretty fast. It has. Oh, look, there's no more enemies left. Whoa. We did it. All right. Whew. Oh, there's Voltar. Okay. Let's see what this next level is like. We'll do, see if we can do one more level really quick, and then we'll call it. You should, yeah, you should get rid of your weapon. Apparently, my my voice suddenly got louder. Is is this true? No, it sounds the same to me. 
Day of the Demons. Select a difficult. Deploy. There we go. <coughs> but Voltar, I did see your uh, your video earlier. Uh, I was doing some stuff. I didn't get to respond to you, but I'm excited to have it. Have the uh, the RGB modded game gear in my in my hands soon. <coughs> and uh, Joe from GameStack said he just made a profile. For uh, the frame meister, for us. I'm excited to see how it, how it is. You know, um, talking about the monster cables. You know, it's, it's kind of interesting because I feel like back years ago, monster cables had like a really bad reputation. Because people were like, oh, you know, it, it's, it's exactly the same. It's just a, a big price for nothing. And I think to a large extent that was true, and I did avoid them myself. Um, but now it, I, don't really, I don't really see people talk bad about them anymore. I think especially for the older systems where those cable, where cables generally aren't available anymore, like you at least know that the monster cables are not going to have like the cheap corners cut like you might find you know some cables on it you might be able to buy some cables on amazon but they're, they're really low quality <laughs> but like back when they were new like the price really did seem pretty outrageous oh yeah like the only like i felt like kind of dirty when i bought the monster s video cables because i was you know definitely pretty anti-monster because i'm like this is a big price for nothing um, but I bought them on eBay because they were actually pretty cheap at the time that I bought them. Oh, you're talking about, not PS2 ones, but what? No, the Monster, uh, Super Nintendo S video games. Oh, okay. That I've got. Um, uh, they were, you know, pretty cheap at the time, and they were like what I could find, so I was like, mm, I don't know about Monster games. But I still don't like the fact that they, like, like someone said, they like, some of them kind of like this death grip on the TV port, and it really feels like you're yeah. going to break something. Well, I have a set that like really messed up my uh, like a component switcher that I have. It like pulls like the metal out mm -hmm. of the uh, the ports. Yeah. Now someone's point out that you know, uh, you know, Monster might have some better quality analog cables, but in terms of HDMI, there's there's no difference in image quality, which is true. Just build quality, which could actually be important now i i you know i i i don't know how monsters hdmi cables are but you've, you've you've learned some stuff in your trip to 4k about yeah i mean HDMI. hdmi cables you know up until now yeah an hdmi cable is an hdmi cable is an hdmi cable i mean obviously it doesn't it doesn't affect the picture quality because as long as the signal gets there then it looks identical you know it, that's not how digital works but now it, there is a very real possibility that a 4K signal is not going to get to its destination. Uh, and and uh, cable quality and adherence to the specification really matters. <coughs> right, and like the, because like, some can't carry like the full bandwidth or whatever. For, like, right. Because HDR is like where it gets real. Tricky, right? H HD well HDR does use more bandwidth um, uh, to, to, to a certain point in fact um, you know PS4 Pro and I, I assume Xbox One X but I'm not sure um, outputs um, HDR in YUV 420 instead of RGB because like to do to do RGB and to do it like 444 RGB whatever like that it would take too much bandwidth and um, I think it's 18 gigabits per second is like right. what the current HDMI spec can do and like a ton of cables like only even though they're called high speed cables they actually can only carry like like about 10 gigabits per second right um and the thing is like 
there's really only like two types of HDMI cables if you ignore the whole Ethernet thing, which in my understanding is literally no HDMI device uses the Ethernet that is in theory capable on the HDMI cable. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like the, the, the signal will just not get there like and, and there's especially if you're trying to put it through switchers and, and splitters like you know you, you've you got to have like it, it, especially if you're trying to do a somewhat longer run like you're just setting up your system beneath your TV <laughs> and then plugging it directly in like you can probably get away with it but like you get, you know watch it hang on Oh, maybe oh wow, that, that building, I saw that building coming crashing on you. That was pretty cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But yeah, like, you, you really got to look that the cable specifically claims to output uh, or to to carry, uh, be capable of carrying um, 18 gigabits per second. Um, because I, in my attempts to get... 4K content working like it, it, it can absolutely be a struggle if you're uh, if you're not paying attention to uh, what the HDMI cable claims to do and um, some cables have like are like uh, premium certified which actually aren't like really even more expensive and you might want to look look out for that because make sure they support the because HDMI. that means that like whatever the rating body the certification body is like certifies that yes this cable will carry 18 gigabits through the whole length of the cable from end to end right <coughs> and it gets even trickier like if you need to go like a longer run which, which I often do. Now, the there are uh, something I might have to end up doing for my Xbox One X because I, I, I actually want to do a pretty long run for it if I can. Um, is, is, is like seriously like a 35-foot run, which is just like not going to happen <laughs> on its own. Um, so I might have to look into a signal repeater, which I read about a few and it sounded like they might work okay or actually might work real good. I don't know. Um, so over the next couple of months, I, w what I'd like to do is I'd like to get the cables. Like I found, I found a good 15 foot cable that works for, um, uh, for getting 4k to my TV successfully. Um, but, um, but yeah, so like maybe if I get two 15 foot cables and piggyback them like that. I don't know. But hopefully I'll, uh, but anyway, I, I'm thinking like I'm going to use the PS4 Pro to like check that, you know, that that's working before the Xbox One X. You know, I'll just move the system to where I want to put the Xbox One X and hopefully. Right. I, I already actually kind of tested that and the cable that I have, uh, sitting over there is actually works like it, it it's a i think it's a 35 foot cable um <laughs> i i bought it originally hoping to you know just have it ready for the xbox one x before i realized just how difficult it was to get a uh 4k signal uh 60 hertz 4k signal um one thing you gotta be careful for too careful about too is some like uh, switchers or splitters or cables um, might claim to be capable of carrying a uh, 4K signal, but it actually can only do like 4K at 30 hertz. Which, right, right. you know, the consoles, you know, it doesn't matter if the game is running at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. The system is always outputting 60 hertz. Um, so, you know, it, it won't be compatible unless it says 4K 60 hertz. <laughs> and even, like, the, the system selector that you had to get, it, like, it had to be specifically certified to do, like, HDR <coughs> as well. Well, I don't, th no, I don't, I don't think HDR, I mean, it doesn't I mean, it, hurt. I mean, it, it says that, it, on there. I mean, it just says. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the thing that you really gotta look for is that 18 gigabits, like, you know, HDR, 4K, 60 hertz, those are search terms. But what you really got to look for is the 18 gigabits. It's really that simple. 
right. you know, or or look for something that says premium certified HDMI cable like that, you know, helps, you know, that, that, that just helps simplify your search for find that cable. I mean, the HDMI cable has no intelligent technology in it. <laughs> um, uh, it, uh, you know, it, it's, it's just copper wire. Um, so, you know, it's not like you're buying an HDMI 2.0 cable. You're buying an H a high-speed HDMI cable, which a high-speed cable might be 10 gigabits per second, or it might be 18 gigabits per second. Right. You know, that that's that's unfortunately where things get tricky, and, and the manufacturers don't necessarily adhere to the full specification, because up till now, it hasn't even mattered. But... Um, but yeah, look for that 18 gigabits. It doesn't hurt to look for that premium certified because, like, the mono price premium certified cables are still pretty cheap. Um, uh, and those, like, I, I went through several cables, um, and, uh, you know, finally, those mono price ones, actually, the ones that said premium certified work. And John Lenneman said, he told me he went through, like, six or seven. 15 foot cables before he found a 15 foot cable right. that actually like worked going to his is that um, the one that you ended up getting uh no i don't think so because he was buying on uh european uh oh, i think okay. he, was buying, he was buying on german amazon and uh it, you know they didn't have the same cables listed uh here Do you think that for the 4K TV episode, you're going to work with him, on John, on that episode, too? I think I'm going to need to. I mean, you know, a, a ton of the information I, I have, you know, kind of came from him because we've got very... So he's got last year's model of my TV. And, you know, so I, I definitely coordinate a lot with him, like, to figure out, like, to make sure I have my settings right and stuff, which, you know, it, it's... It, it, it's you know, I, I feel like I would expect like something like you know HDR being this big selling point. Um, I expected HDR to like kind of be a little bit more plug and play, but it's actually not really that simple. Yeah. You know, you know, it was actually kind of nice like playing uh, Uncharted: Lost Legacy because it was it was the first time that I played through an HDR game when I wasn't like trying to like figure out how to set it up and just I was just I was I, you know I was just testing stuff before and I was like scrutinizing you know do I have everything set right is my colors right or my settings right? right and you know I finally got things right but I never actually played through something in HDR so it was nice to just play Uncharted uh, on the PS4 Pro and just I didn't even have to think about anything I was just enjoying it <laughs> Finally dead? Did we kill it? Yes, finally. Oh jeez, it's gonna crash on me. Let's go. Oh jeez. I'm on it. I'm on top of it. It's gonna crash and explode. Better get off of it. Yes, I'll get off of it. This game's pretty great. I I have to admit that I am. No, it was fun to watch. You think it's something you'd, you'd end up wanting to get at some point? I, I could definitely consider it at some point. Or like, I, every time a new one comes out, like I kind of think about. It. Like I feel like it's like not a series that you need to like play all of them or anything. You just need to pick one and enjoy that one. You right. know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's exactly how I feel with this one. Like I don't see myself like wanting to like, play them all. I'll probably get my fill with the one. Yeah. So, do you feel like the HDR like really enhanced your experience with? Uh, not with necessarily. Like uh, one thing I was talking to John about I was like, you know, I, I'm not sure if like I'm seeing anything all that amazing with HDR when, you know, people were acting like, oh, HDR is like the bigger deal than the 4K resolution, and I think that might be true depending on what tv you're playing with but i you know i was telling john i was like you know like 
it's different. Like I can flip back and forth between the HDR renderer on and off within the the game itself. You know, you can turn HDR on or you can turn it off. And I'm like, I don't. You know, it's like it's different, but I don't know if it's like obviously better. He said, well, you well, you know, in a lot of ways, OLED kind of overshadows HDR itself. Like the jump you're getting is going from, you know, an LCD TV to an OLED TV. You know, like the yeah. OLED just makes everything look good. Right. Something that I've done, um, like I, I, I felt like certain. Oops, hold on a second. I accidentally. My Um, something that I've done with my settings for HDR, uh, I've, I've put the, um, screen brightness on maximum, uh, on a hundred percent for HDR because the way H HDR works by like, by like having like a few points of the screen can be like a brighter white or just a, br a more full light than uh, uh, than you can normally get. And I could just have the same 100% brightness on my other sources, but I, I was finding that when I was watching some things, it just felt too bright. There we go. And I, and I think that's because it's almost like it's not, um, you know, non-HDR content is not really, you know, it's not like whatever the brightest is on that becomes the brightest on the TV, I don't think I've explained it very well, but like more of the screen is too bright on non HDR stuff, if that makes sense. Uh, and so that's why I lowered the brightness on non HDR sources to about 80%. Uh, and that feels a lot more comfortable on my eyes. But then on HDR sources, I keep it at 100%. And it's not like the whole screen is just bright all the time, but certain highlights, like if you look at the sun or something, like it definitely is, feels much brighter. Right. But like I don't I don't know like I feel like the OLED is really what's impressing me. HDR is just like it's nice to have, but I I personally am not so sure it's it's the revolution that people think it is. But it might vary TV to TV. Like the difference between non HDR content and HDR content might be more pronounced on like a non OLED maybe. Um. Now we're done. Just like getting way too. Ugh, I need to turn on the air conditioner. <laughs> oh, did you have the headphones off this whole time? No, I just took them off. So. Oh. <laughs> just for a second. Uh, well, now that you've shared all your secrets for your 4K TV episode, is there even a reason to watch it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely gonna be. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was just kind of a stream of consciousness about this. Some of the trials and tribulations of uh, setting up 4K, but uh, yeah, there there will definitely be plenty of information more more organized and more expanded. Yeah, and in less sentences. Yes, <laughs> yes. Less ums and uhs and likes. The old uh, Night Trap 25th Anniversary Edition. Have you played it yet? I don't have it. I gave you a code for it. Oh, oh, the code, yeah. I, I, I have not used the code yet. Yeah. Someone um, uh, tweeted us a picture of our names in the credits today. <laughs> which is always fun. But I meant the physical. I, I, don't, I don't have my physical yet. Yeah. Yeah, my, yeah we, don't, we don't have our physical. Is that going to do it? Oh, so you have that sign Mora EX? Or I don't know how you pronounce it. Yep, I do. I, do. It's, I didn't it's, realize. I remember you mentioned it, but I didn't know it was out yet. I got it. Well, you know, I was still on a pre-order. That was, was like the last game that I got. They had the uh, the pre-order uh, money off. That was the last one I was able to get. Um, like I got it after it came out. Oh, oh, the the <laughs> post the post the non-pre-order money off. Yeah. What, uh, what, it, is, it what looks, is Ghost? What's What's Ghost Blade HD? Uh, that's one of uh, uh, Play Asia's limited releases. Oh, Comes okay. Comes in like a big box, like uh, um, uh, Curse Castilla did. Curse Castilla. Well, 
What what uh what kind of game is it? Uh, it's an overhead shooter. It's actually you know Ghost Blade was on, was a kind of, quote, fan made unquote Dreamcast game. Interesting. By a, a developer called Hughcast. Um, Mega Man Wonder Boy. Still got to play that. After well, Wonder Boy is amazing. I mean, it, it'll only take you like three and a half hours. <coughs> and there was a uh, you said that there was a new patch for it, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, but I mean, I played through the game before the patch. I mean, there wasn't anything like super crazy. Right, critical, right. So don't you don't think. feel like uh, you're going to really miss anything. No. You know, it's just kind of like improved retro monitor effect, which I thought looked really good anyway. Yeah. Hard mode bit rebalancing. I mean, it's like really no real bugs. I think there's like one bug that like fixed a soft lock. I mean, that's like it. Yeah, I, I thought thought everything was pretty great. Yeah. I, I, I loved it. I, I definitely feel like I, I had a better appreciation for the game than I did when I played it on Virtual Console. I played Dragon's Curse on Virtual Console. Mm-hmm. And uh, it felt like a little bit of a letdown after Wonder Boy and Monster World because I thought, oh, this is like the same sort of game, but you've got all these animal transformations and that's really cool. But then, like, it definitely feels like an older, more dated game. But somehow the the new coat of paint, like, you know, I mean, I guess it's kind of superficial, but it definitely, like, you know, made the game feel a little more special. Yeah. It's you can you can tell like a lot of love, like it, it's a very it's a very genuine sort of game. Like you can just tell that the people who made it like grew up with it and just really really loved it. Yeah, hopefully they do. Uh, Monster World or Wonder I know Boy Monster World. I know that would be. Whew. That'd be amazing. Yeah, that, and, we'd have to start fe- featuring that in every episode too. <laughs> I know, I know. That would be something else. Let's see if I have anything else here. These are all my download games that I want physical copies of. <laughs> well, you've got Wild Guns Reloaded. Yeah, it's it's not in the uh, you're, you. Have oh, yet. okay. Yeah, I was delayed. I was delayed. Yeah. I have physical copies of Pure Solar, but hopefully. That artwork for Thousand and One Spikes is not what I would have uh, would have expected. That's not what the game really looks like. Yeah, but I, I mean, I think that there's going to be a, a physical Switch version of this. That's just a guess, because <coughs> uh, Nicholas is doing a lot of. Oh yeah, they are doing a lot of Switch stuff. And they did this. So. I can imagine that happening with this. That's another one I can check off off my list. Yeah. I would love a physical copy of Bastion. And didn't Bastion, Bastion Transistor, and there was like a new one, like Pyre? Like yeah, isn't the, that like a multiplayer game, though? Oh, is, I don't know anything about it. I think it's just a multiplayer game, so I, I really haven't paid much attention to it. I, did, have you played Transistor? I haven't. I, I, you know, I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. You really liked Bastion, though, didn't you? I liked it quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I love it as much as some people do. But, I mean, Transistor was good. But I, I definitely liked Bastion better. There were, there were a few things about Transistor that kind of bothered me. But, um, I mean, it was, it was overall good. You, I mean, I, think I, still, I, I still think you'd like it for sure. I, I, I would definitely be curious to hear your thoughts. Yeah. Well, maybe one day. I feel like Spelunky is definitely going to get a physical release at some point. Same with that Bro- seems likely. Bro- I mean, Spelunky. Legacy, too, I think will. I mean, I've got Spelunky on my PS4, but it's just a, um, it's just a PlayStation Plus oh. freebie. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I might have to figure out like an external hard drive solution for my PS4 soon because I, I you know, I've got a two terabyte in mine, but it's pretty close to the edge, and I, I, I like, I don't want to uninstall anything. Like, I want everything to always be installed. Yeah, I suck. <sighs> Excuse me. I, uh, 
I kind of stopped in installing everything at one point. Well, that's because you don't you have an upgrade to your hard drive. Well, I mean, I have a terabyte in there now. I did, so I did upgrade it because I just had a terabyte. Oh, I didn't know you upgraded around. Um, Yeah, that's it. I mean, I, there's a lot that I own that I don't have installed. Now, the only thing I don't have installed yet is uh, Guacamelee. Like, I, I've, I, I try to install everything, like, kind of when I get it, but if I... If I don't feel like installing it or don't have time right when I get, like I leave it shrink wrapped and put it on my shelf so I can, I, I can, re, I can remember when I when I'm, when I'm in the mood to install a couple of games, I'll be like, oh yeah, it's the one that's the sh- still shrink wrapped. Yeah. Because I like to have it, I, I like to have it ready and patched and stuff, you know, so I don't have to wait when I'm like ready to actually play, you know. Right. I always like it when games are only like a gig. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. It, it actually really amazes me that the Dragon's Trap is only like a little over a gig because it's, uh, I mean, it's got like so much good artwork. The music is like live recorded music and they've got like all this art gallery stuff in it, which includes some behind the scenes uh, video footage of the mu- the live music recordings. So, like, I feel like a, ma- <laughs> a majority of the, the game size is probably just music and yeah. video from that. Like, the, the game <laughs> itself might take up very little space. It's probably, I mean, it's whatever it is, I mean, it's very efficient. Yeah. All right. Is that going to do it for this week? I guess that will do it. We'll, um, We'll see you next Sunday, and maybe you'll have time to get an episode out in between. Yeah, I'm going to really, I mean, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to be, like, working on it so hard. So it's, like, hopefully not going to be a problem. All right. And it's just, like, you know, it's not going to be flashy. No. That's fine. Well, that's fine. It's, it doesn't my, need to... it's my first uh, game-exclusive episode in a really long time. So. Yeah. So we'll see how it comes out. All right. All right. You have anything else? You have anything you want to add? No, it was a good time. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. See you next year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Good night.